Don't take this personally. Seem to recall you were gonna tell Takamura when you got help. Yeah, just a sec. I'll call him. Just remember, you have Hellman, and that's one hell of a card. Try to win something with it. Takamura saved my life, remember? Because it was in his fucking interest to do so. Still just biz. He's no friend of yours. Takamura, good news. Got Hellman. Alive. What did he say? Alive, alive. Not too talkative now. Taking him to the Sunset Motel. I will come to you. Keep him there until I arrive. You got it. See ya. Better take him somewhere you can talk in peace. True. I'll kill you! Looks like your new Chimbas are here. Is that him? Sure is. Take him outside. Toss him on the bike. Stay right there. The cavalry has arrived. Mitch gathered together a few elder helmets. <clears throat> the road was clear. I don't think we were spotted. We would still do better not to hang around too long. What do you plan to do with him? Jeez, long story. Not sure I'd even know where to start. Tell me next time, then. Saul. Everything's done here. All clear. I heard Mitch is alive thanks to you. Thanks to V and Pan Am. They both saved my ass. I just hope he was worth it. Saul, I tried to race Scorpion. <laughs> Maybe I could help out somehow? I think you've helped enough. I tried to stop him. Sure. Just turn around now. Let it all be damned. You're good at that, aren't you? Look, Saul, it really wasn't Pan Am's fault. Careful. You and me are not buddy-buddy. Besides, nobody's blamed anyone for anything yet. Sure. Right. Pan Am was just helping me. It was my doing. My fault that A.V. got hit. Without me, Scorpion and his people wouldn't have gone out to grab it. That's the truth. When you're in Aldo Caldo, you are always responsible for yourself and your people. The circumstances change nothing. Perhaps Pan Am should ask herself if she's still in Aldo Caldo. Damn it all. Glad to see you, Mitch, but why'd you even come? Saul, he came with our people. We took care of the bodies. I told him what happened. And he told us to up and follow you. He was worried something would happen to you. To Pan Am. Saul? Look, maybe you two don't see eye to eye at the moment, but you're family. And Saul will do anything for family. The thing is, am I even part of the family anymore? You know you are. Come back to us. I understand. Sorry you had to witness that. Things just get complicated. Dramatic sometimes. But I will manage. And you. You look out for yourself, all right? So, Mitch. They really treat you like family. Maybe you should give them a chance. It is not that simple. Like any family. They're coming. You have about a minute to get out of there. Let's move! I'm also headed out. Take care of Scorpion's bike. It's yours.
What is this place? Motel, middle of nowhere. Any specific middle? Doesn't matter. You're not leaving here by yourself anyway. Why are we here? I want to talk about your little invention. Biochip you made for Arasaka. Fine. But let's get one thing straight first. Yorinobu Arisaka didn't send you? No. This means you must have an offer for me. If your boss will pay more than Kang Tao, I believe we can talk. Nobody sent me. I got a problem, and you're gonna help me. And what does that have to do with the biochip? Got Silverhand's construct in my head. It's literally driving me crazy, and I know it's only gonna get worse. That is, unless I remove it. And that, none of that's on the billboards I saw. Not even in the fine print. Constructed, that's impossible. Where did you get this biochip? Clept it off Yorinobu Arasaka. Job for a client. But the client left me out And dry. you decided the best place for it was in your own goddamn head. Actually, wasn't a bad idea. Construct rebooted me when my own goddamn head took a bullet. I always knew Yorinobu's plan would fail. I just never imagined it would turn out like this. Arisaka's prized tech really is in the very streets of the city. You have to remove the biochip from my system. It's not that simple. Look, you made the thing, didn't you? So where's the problem? If you're telling the truth, you slotted in a new experimental version of the biochip. How's the prototype version different? It's got a different engram, something more... Aware. ...aggressive? The biochip is what's unique, not Silverhand's engram. The previous version of the chip was only used to communicate with pre-saved And it was rare as fuck and cost a fortune. Yeah. This one's rarer. Meant to install and activate the engram in a new body. When I left Arisaka, the project was still in the trial phase. How exactly was this new version supposed to work? Were you planning to have the engram kick people out of their own bodies? Is that shit by design? During the tests, we assumed that the body would be... ...neurally indifferent during implantation. You mean dead? Yes. Which makes what happened to you interesting indeed. Huh. Imagine my luck to be so fucking unique, so fucking exceptional. That mean you'll help me? Well, well. I would have to see it first. Okay. Hmm. Unbelievable. It looks like... Can't believe this Seuss the one who's gonna help us. Oh, fuck. Impressive, isn't it? What a pity I won't be able to examine it fully. Yeah, real shame. You could have been his guinea pig, too. Tell me how to get rid of it. I'm afraid I have bad news. Your neural network has completely deteriorated. It can no longer function independently of the chip. The only thing I could Woo do... Woohoo, it's bargaining time. ...is to give you information on a good clinic in Sweden. They'll help you through the terminal stages. Minimize the pain. What exactly is going on in my head? You tell me. What's it like to have two personalities? Because it's not like you're hearing voices. You are both yourself and Silverhand, simultaneously. I can see him and talk to him. You're not talking, but yes, I understand what you mean. Have you noticed the Construct's influence on your decision-making? Sheesh, give it a rest. What 
What do you mean? You will start doing things that were once unthinkable, at least to your old self. And you know exactly who he was. A fanatic. A terrorist. A suicide bomber. Well, fuck me. Who's trying to mess with your head now? That is why I believe it would be better for you to consider clinical isolation at this stage. No what? That's enough. You just playing for time? Because I can't tell. Are you trying to convince me you're useless? Cause I mean, in that case, I can just shoot you in the head and save us both some time. Ah, oh, finally. I will try to help you. If you come with me to Kang Tao. This is costing me time. Forget Kang Tao. Got any other ideas? If you think there's anyone else who can help you, I could give you the blueprints. Complete project documentation. Kang Tao offered quite the sum for it. You got it with you? He's got to Gonk's fucking useless without him. Me? Takamura? What the hell is he doing here? He's got a few questions of his own for you. You play nice, he might even save your ass. I'm almost done. The blueprints. than nothing, long as we find someone fluent in techno battle. He's all yours. I'll give you two some space. I hope we can come to an understanding. That is certainly in your best interest. V, I will remember this. Ah, this heat. My throat is positively parched. Hmm. V did not give you even a glass of water. Unacceptable. Inhumane. That is not me. You will see the difference. I will give you full buckets. No, uh, no need. What's wrong with you? Ah, I'm not sure. Still want to find Parker? Shape you're in? It's all going too slow. Gonna decommission before we learn how to rip the chip out. Wanted me dead. Said so yourself. Made it pretty clear since that I changed my mind. Want you to live now. Asked you already. What the hell you want from me? I got a get out of jail free card. I'd be a fucking fool not to take advantage. See, me and Arasaka, we got a half century old score neat settlement, and I plan to do it. That's what I need you for. Never been recruited into a terrorist cell before. Feel Listen, kinda honored, I actually. know things. Where we can save your life, who can help us do that? You'll get rid of the chip. I'll smash Sokka. Win-win, kid. Soul Killer's what we need, and Makoshi's how we grab it. Don't trust you. Clear, right? So why would I trust in your plan? Cause you've heard your death knell, but you'd rather live. So if you're done bitching, I'd be happy to explain. Sound good? Okay, so... This Makoshi... What is it exactly? Okay, basics. If you're jacked in, cruising the net, Arasaka can use Soul Killer, an AI, to trap, fry, and pack away your psyche, your mind, and your soul. 
Following so far? Yeah, seen the memories. Did a real number on you. Okay, seems we've got a few more things to broach than I thought, but that'll come later. Anyway, when Soul Killer fries, roasts, and boils you, you die. But the contents of your mind get copied to an engram first. Sure. That's how you became a construct. Exactly. Now, Makoshi's the place Soul Killer operates out of, where it stores its victims' engrams. Still don't see how Makoshi's linked to my chip problem. Not the brightest bulb on stage, are you? Fifty years back, ops on the human mind. Makoshi was the sole place on Earth where they did anything like that. Bet it still is today. Telling you, all roads lead there. It's where we'll settle our biz. You yours, me mine. And, uh, how you plan to smash Arasaka this time? Got another nuke tucked away? This time, bombs named Alt Cunningham. I'm supposed to know who that is? Not yet. But you will once we find what we need. For now, we got no time to lose. Need to get inside, Makoshi. We haven't met. I'm Elizabeth. My husband and I, we need a somewhat delicate matter handled. 
we think you could help. Why call me of all people? Any particular reason? You came recommended. Yeah, who by? I'd rather not say. Not over the phone. Is there any way we could meet? Discuss some details? Sure. Let's do that. I'll send you the address. See you. Word on the streets that when Waco says golden, it's usually a turd wrapped in crepe paper. It's a sticky situation. So what's the spec? Being proven guilty, you hear me? meaning he deserves to die to truly. Do I look like a criminal prosecutor to you? What did he do exactly? I'm not a beat reporter, neither. You want the job or not? All right, I'm in. Good. Client will be waiting for you by a car at the corner of Sixth and Brandon. Huh? In a car? Client wants to tag along. Be there in person when you put a bullet through the guy's eye. Good luck.
It's a good thing you answered. I could probably use your help. Probably. Fine. I could really use your help. Can we meet? Just tell me when and where. You don't know how good it is to hear that. Swing by the old Caldos camp. I'll explain it all. The old Caldos? Thought you parted ways. Look, it's a long story. Just hurry over. I'm here.
still. Virus in my core. Damaged. Please. Please. Are you V? Please, step in the vehicle. Okay. Hello, V. I'm Jefferson Perales. You've already spoken with Elizabeth, my wife. So, what do you got for me? Carter, let's go. Straight to the matter at hand, huh? I mean, I guess we could chat up the weather or debate where they serve the best ramen. All the same to me, but... <laughs> Fair enough. To business it is. Elizabeth? Well, as you're probably aware, Mayor Lucius Ryan recently passed. We want to know how, why, whatever else is pertinent. As far as I know, case is closed already. It is. Of course, the police wrote it off as natural causes. Ryan passed at home due to a cardio implant malfunction. But we're left wondering about the cyber psycho attack at City Hall a few days earlier. The police say it was completely unrelated. These suspicions of yours wouldn't have anything to do with the upcoming election, would they? Of course they would. If Lucius Ryan was murdered, we want to know. Need to know. What makes you think the cops got it wrong? Got any evidence? Shortly before Ryan passed, he made cuts in the NCPD budget. Perhaps got on someone's bad side that way. In any case, we have the cyber psycho attack on a BD. Our chief of security scanned it, but didn't find anything out of the ordinary, so to speak. We need a brain dance editor, a real one. It's raw footage. The brain dance. It has to be back where it belongs today, or a lot of people will be in a lot of trouble. If you agree to help, you can see it right now. All right. See what I can do. Excellent. We'd be happy with any find that would clarify things, alleviate lingering doubts. Well, what do we got here? Question is, what are you doing here? My brain too, isn't it? And don't go scrolling or scrolling every ass you see. Eyes on the mayor. Stuff belongs to City Hall. Let's make it PG.
Second conference in three days. No idea what this blitz is for. That's why I'm mayor and you're not. Now's when we need the visibility. You're spreading yourself too thin. I'll rest tonight. My room at the Red Queen's race is ready. Yes, of course. Good. Now go. Gotta practice. Red Queen's race. Cause any inner synapse zaps? Sure, a bunch of old Brit farts and powdered wigs shouting, Off with their heads! You know, you're allowed to say you don't have a clue. You're spreading yourself too quickly. You're spreading yourself You're spreading your thing You're spreading yourself too thin. I'll rest tonight. My room at the Red Queen's race is ready. Yes, of course. Good. Now go. Gotta practice. Hold it! Stop right there! Slow your roll! River Ward, NCPD. Police. Let him in? Let him wait. It's important. Gotta speak to the mayor's chief of security. Cream, do it after the conference. <laughs> Could have chromed half the city with what he was packing. Probably what happened. Body disappeared from the morgue, sight unseen. And then some pig got himself a new set of wheels and an ugly ass suit. Know that? We're just talking out your ass again. Once you've seen all I've seen, don't need to know things to know them. People are the same everywhere. Okay, it's coming out your ass. <laughs> wanted to tell security something. Probably that he was standing by to lick Ryan's butthole. I'm talking to the conference. I'm talking to the fight. But after the conference, I'm talking to the fight. Here's the strategy. Slow your roll. River Ward, NCPD. Police. Let him in. Let him wait. It's important. Gotta speak to the mayor's chief of security. Preem, do it after the conference. The terminal crashed right as he went through the gate. Yeah, glitch was no accident. Nah, seen stranger coincidences. 
Like? Like when you bang some chick and then her sister later, same night. And it turns out they're both sisters of God. That really happened to you? Nah. But it could have. Well, well, well. Now go. Gotta practice. Alfred. Whoa, Glenn. My eye, my eye, my eye, mayor, and you're not. Now's when we need the visibility. You the lips at the knee, you know what? I mean, I always had to do it. Splits is just doing it. The way he's going, no idea. Who's the Hulk guy? No idea. Those ass clowns are all the same. The Splits is for him. That's why I'm mayor. I am now. I always had to and, they, and this time, don't go scrolling every ass you see. Eyes on the mayor. Stuff belongs to City Hall. Let's make it PG. Second conference in three days. No idea what this blitz is for. That's why I'm mayor and you're not. Now's when we need the visibility. You're spreading yourself too thin. I'll rest tonight. My room at the Red Queen's race is ready. Yes, of course. Good. Now go. Gotta practice. Hold it! Stop right there, Hutch! And off! Oh. Hold it! Stop right there! Slow your roll. Re reward, NCBD. Police. Let him in? Let him wait. It's important. Gotta speak to the mayor's chief of security. Prime, do it after the conference. Now's when we need the 
And this time, don't go scrolling every ass you see. Eyes on the mayor. Stuff belongs to City Hall. Let's make it PG. Second conference in three days. No idea what this blitz is for. That's why I'm mayor and you're not. Now's when we need the visibility. You're spreading yourself too thin. I'll rest tonight. Let's make it begin. Stop to make it Yes. You should begin. Second conference in three days. No idea what's happening. Now it's like a night. My room is ready. Yes, of course. Good. Now go. Got to practice. Hold it. Stand off. Hold it. Stop right there. Slow your roll. River Ward, NCPD. Police. Let him in. Let him wait. It's important. Gotta speak to the mayor's chief of security. Prem, do it after the conference. Security. Prem, do it after the conference. Here, fantastic. So, any thoughts? Did you uh, see anything suspicious? Anything at all? Or are we paranoid? Whole thing stinks worse than Coronado Bay in July. Huh. So, suspicions confirmed. Any questions at this point? Who's Holt? Ryan's deputy. And his bulldog, so to speak. Running in Ryan's place now. Cop who saved Ryan. Know anything about him? Detective River Ward. Good guy. We worked a few cases together. You want to talk to him? I'll put you in touch. Mayor's Hustle. The NCPD. No. All handpicked by Holt. And on a corpse payroll. But there are ex-cops among them. Sheesh. Ward had great timing. Either has crazy good luck or had a source. Got good info. I'm gonna need some of each. Well said. I'm sending you his deeds. If you need anything else, let us know. We'll help.
This is Ward. Who am I talking to? Name's V. Looking into the death of one Lucius Rhine. Wonder why? You're not a cop. Jefferson and Elizabeth Perales hired me to do it. Presumptive mayor sniffing around his predecessor's untimely death. Interesting. Done some digging, got more intel. Also interesting. All right. I'm headed to Chubby Buffaloes. Be their stat. Someone here to see you, looks like. Oh, wonder what about him. You River Ward? In the flesh. V, right? My partner, Detective Hahn. Okay. Thanks for agreeing to me. You really intend to work with a merc? Don't know what I intend just yet. For now, I'm gonna see if I hear anything new about Ryan's death. You back on that? Boss already told you to drop it. I can say it again. You know he hates to say things twice. And if you couldn't give a rat's fat ass about any of that, heed my advice. As your friend, just let the case go. You see me do anything? Just sitting here, sipping coffee, listening to gossip. Fine. Do what you want. I'm not about to be part of this. Gotta go get my little girl anyway. And you two at least find a quieter corner? Wouldn't want to be overheard. Okay. Talk. I see Detective Hahn's not a fan of edge runners. Don't take it personally. Detective Hahn's not a fan of anybody. Except his daughter. You wanted to talk? Before the attack, you wanted to talk to Ryan's hustle. Get some info to him. What was it? Hon was right. Acoustics are a little too good in here. Got my car outside. Okay, sure.
Some of the boys from the precinct saw Horvath around Arroyo, shooting up dumpsters, hollering how he's got to meet with the mayor. Brought him in. They brought who in? Peter Horvath. Cyber psycho who attacked the mayor later. They took him downtown, but then he got lost before they could get his statement. Said he got lost. How's that happen? What's it mean? It means someone didn't want him counting roaches in a cell that day. Before you ask me, no. I got no idea who. My turn. Why is Perales looking at this now? Why does he want it done unofficial on the Hush Hush? Red Queen's race. Heard anything about it? Know what it is? Maybe I have. Maybe I do. It got anything to do with Ryan? The guy was headed there the day he died. Fine. We're gonna see my CI. All I've heard is some fancy ass club. No idea where to even look for it. CI might know. Then we'll go talk to the woman Horvath worked for. Or actually, we could see her first. Up to you. Let's go see your informer. Club's a better lead. Fine with me.